One other thing that you may occasionally encounter when receiving a word of knowledge, say for instance, you get a tinge of pain in your heart. This has happened to me before. Um, there have been times when I'll get a tinge of pain in my heart. And I remember the first time it happened, it was like a health concern. The second time it happened, somebody did have a health concern. The third time it happened, somebody had a health concern. And so I just concluded that anytime, you know, a tinge of pain comes to me in my heart, then somebody must have a health concern. Well, one day I was, um, I think I was actually on one of these calls and uh, I got a tinge of pain in my heart and I thought, oh, somebody has a health concern. So I almost went to unmute and ask if there was anyone here who had a heart, like a health condition with their heart. And that's when I felt like this little unction within me to like pump the brakes for a second. God was saying, whoa, 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 not so fast. Listen again. And so I, um, I just paused for a moment and in my thoughts, kind of like Frank was saying, um, this thought was just kind of dropped in my heart that, okay, no, this was not a health concern. This person doesn't have a physical problem with their heart. They have a broken heart. So if you ever get a tinge of pain in your heart, that's something that you might want to just give that extra little pause before you step out there with it. Um, Frank, did you want to talk about like any of those um, knowledge for emotional kind of things? Uh, sure. This is actually one of my specialties. Years ago, the Lord showed me the priority of the anointing, as in Isaiah 60, uh, uh, 61, uh, where the first priority is to preach the gospel of the poor. The second priority is to heal everybody who has a broken heart. So only second in priority to preaching the gospel to the poor is healing the brokenhearted. And everybody in life has gone through many traumas, loss, disappointments, public embarrassment, shame, guilt, all kinds of things. Uh, and when their heart gets broken for whatever reason, it creates chaos in the rest of their body, emotionally, psychologically, and every other way. So these are one of the primary things. So many times they'll get a word of knowledge about a heart and uh, I'll just, uh, maybe I'll have a thought about a particular person I've prayed for before. I'll tell uh, the testimony of that person. They go, oh my God, I'm exactly like that person. That's exactly what I'm going through. And I'll go, praise the Lord. Well, that was a word of knowledge there. Uh, but also to heal the broken heart, the anointing that you have received uh, from him that abides in you, that is true and is no lie. That same anointing teaches you how to abide, leads you into all truth, but also heals the broken hearted. So I just basically say, I heal your broken heart in the name of Jesus Christ by the anointing. And I just trust because I had the word of knowledge and because I had the impression that the heart was broken and that it was confirmed in the person, then God wants to do something about it. I'm so happy at that point. I'm joyful because I know what's going to happen. They're going to get healed. Uh, generally speaking, if I'm praying for the sick and they have uh, health issues or pain in their problem, pain in their body, excuse me, and it's not working through simple declarations and taking authority and commanding the pain to go, I'll go, ah, it's got to be emotional. So I'll start praying for the broken heart to be healed, weights coming off of shoulders, yokes being broken from neck, demons that are harassing or, or, uh, or making somebody feel bad about themselves. I'll say, you have to come out in three seconds, three, two, one, out. And I'll do that. And then all of a sudden they'll say, now check yourself for the pain. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. So those emotionally tied uh, illnesses and pains that have their roots in a broken heart or a broken spirit uh, can easily be healed because you have the anointing to do so. Plus the word of knowledge is the doorway to open up and all the power that you need to fix the problem is in that word of knowledge. When God speaks, he, he doesn't give you the spirit by measure to perform what he wants. So just be confident that because he showed it to you, it will be healed and your percentages of healings will go way, way up.